Today's video is brought to you by the International Foundation of Reconstructive Surgery. The extremity medical aisle fix is a very unique implant and in this video we will demonstrate the sequence for insertion. Placement of the initial guide wire should be roughly 14 millimeters from the joint so that once the post is inserted uh, the post itself will be roughly a centimeter from the joint surface. Additionally, inserting the guide wire perpendicular to the curvature of the bone will help aid in interfrag screw insertion. After guide wire insertion, it's very important to drill bicortical as the post itself is not designed to be self-drilling and it can strip. At this point, the drill hole will be reamed for insertion of the post. It is important not to ream on power but to use hand as the reamer is exceptionally sharp and can bury right through the bone. We are now ready to insert the post. At the distal aspect of the hand driver, there are two guide holes. Once the post is inserted, you can insert a guide wire in through the guide hole and thus showing your positioning of your interfrag screw. If you feel that the positioning of your interfrag screw is, is not in adequate alignment, simply rotate the handle forwards or backwards until you've reached your desired position. Similar to a standard countersink, insert the bullet point into the Alfix implant. Begin rotating and drop your hand down into the bone, thus creating a clearance for your inner frag screw. Now that the bone has been reamed and is ready for screw insertion, insert the drill guide into the Alfix post. This should seat itself firmly into the post. If it does not, it will toggle with the implant and this can lead to problems with inserting the interfrag screw. Next the guide wire is inserted. And this is just to show the exact placement for the screw and this can all be confirmed under intraoperative fluoroscopy. Next the guide wires are measured. Uh, 5-0 screws come in lengths of 20 to 80 millimeters. Here we're showing the drill guides along with the laser etched lines on the drill. Each laser marking represents 10 millimeters. We are now ready for screw insertion. If the initial post was reamed appropriately 
and enough bone was removed, there should be enough clearance for the inner frag screw to insert. The screw insertion is a Morris taper lock where it's, the head is progressively thicker and so it locks into the IOFIX post and thus preventing any type of cortical wall breakthrough on the dorsal surface. You can see more at footandanklefixation.com.